Hello, I'm Shandon Sarkar. And if your son or daughter is taking data structures this year, there's an excellent chance that you have seen me already in previous open houses, not just for one, but probably multiple years. But if you don't have my email address handy, here it is, csarkar at stanfordct.gov. And that's the best way to reach me if you wanna set up an appointment or want to just discuss some topic that's related to your son or daughter. I wanna point you to this newly revised westhillcs.com website that we've put together this summer. Let's have a brief look at that. This website is basically uh, a resource for both parents and students, and it describes our new Computer Science Academy at West Hill that went live on January 1st of 2020. There's a video here that describes the academy. And then down here, there are individual pages that describe each of the courses offered uh, in computer science at West Hill. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna talk about the course that your son or daughter is taking, this data structures course right here in the middle. But before that, I wanna just call your attention to some material here in the left sidebar, which you can use to find out more about the academy, how grades are calculated, course prerequisites, et cetera. Now, unlike the other courses here in the Computer Science Academy, if your son or daughter is taking data structures, there's an excellent chance, better than 50-50, that they intend to major or minor in computer science in college. Whereas most of these other courses are designed to entice the student into looking at more computer science, this one is the most academically challenging and the farthest advanced. This is a second year college course, basically, in computer science. So if they're taking this course, obviously they're already serious about computer science. Let's have a brief look at what the, the course teaches. So uh, originally the data structures course used to be called Advanced Computer Science AB, and it used to be an AP course that was offered by the College Board. Due to low enrollment, uh, the College Board decided to cancel the AP exam for the course, but we have kept the curriculum alive. Originally, the material offered in the course was only for about six months or so. And so what we've done here is we have uh, supplemented the material with some additional Java topics. And at the end of the course, we spend about a month talking about functional programming. But the bulk of the course still consists of these data structure topics, including linked lists, trees, graphs, stacks and queues, and sorting as well as hashing. These are the fundamental data structures that are needed to gain some college level understanding of programming. And we mostly work through projects in this course using Java, which once again was the original programming language taught for the AP Computer Science A exam. This is the second or third year that we've had enough students enrolled in this course. And I feel that we're on a great trajectory here this year as well. I realize that the COVID situation has made your lives a little bit more nervous. But relative to this course, I can tell you that because a lot of the work is done outside the course in projects, uh, the only thing that your students have to do that's different this year than in previous years is on the days that they're home, they have two choices. They can either watch the lectures uh, live on Google Meet, or I record every single lecture and make it available on replay. So far, given the performance of your son or daughter, I would have to say that they are doing an excellent job of keeping up with their work. I think I've only had one or two quizzes in the course so far, but I feel that the students are learning about as well as they have learned in previous non-COVID years, and I have great expectations for how the year will turn out. Once again, you're not going to hear from me unless there's a particular issue with your son or daughter, and given uh, every, I know every student in this class, I think that's highly unlikely. But if for any reason you need to reach me, once again, let me just point you to my email address. And if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with me, just uh, suggest a couple of dates and times and I'll do my very best to make myself available. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I look forward to seeing you again in person, hopefully this year, if conditions permit. Otherwise, as I, once again, please drop me an email if you wanna get in touch.